Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be answering one of the most commonly asked questions on my YouTube channel, which is how to get better at dynamic programming. More specifically, I'll focus on which resources you can use to learn dynamic programming, which websites you can solve problems for, and I'll conclude this video by offering some tips on how many problems you should solve per day. This information applies to all skill levels because dynamic programming is an extremely challenging paradigm for all skill levels, right from newbie to a grandmaster. So first, let's begin by understanding which resources you can use to learn dynamic programming. The best way to start dynamic programming is by checking out Aditya Verma's 50 DP tutorials. I personally started dynamic programming in ninth grade by following his 50 DP tutorials, which I found extremely useful and which helped me to learn everything I needed to know in the basics of dynamic programming. Then you can head on to Hacker Earth's 4 DP tutorials. This is an undervalued resource and I personally found this resource very useful because there were some really good problems on each tutorial available and those problems were of all difficulty levels again right from easy to difficult and you can also check out CodeChef's DP tutorial which are more recent and there are basically three tutorials introductory DP intermediate DP and advanced DP and you can find these under CodeChef CP tutorials category or more specifically under the Indian Programming Camp 2020 category. So after you learn DP from those three resources, you should start solving problems because problems are the best and only way to get better at it. So the first problem set which you should consider looking at is again an undervalued problem set which not too many people know of and that is the CSES DP problem set. This problem set is an excellent problem set which helps you clarify all your concepts on basic DP and they added some more challenging problems which cover more intermediate and advanced DP concepts. Secondly, you should check out AdCoder's DP problem set which contains 26 problems from A to Z and that is basically the A to Z of DP because it starts from Fibonacci numbers, which is the most basic DP concept, right up to convex hull trick, which is one of the more advanced DP concepts. So that is another great problem set. And next or in between these two resources would fall my code forces DP problem set. So I solved 16 code forces problems and I posted the video editorials on this playlist. So you should definitely check them out for improving your intermediate DP problem solving skills. And the rating range would be 1600 to 2100 on code forces. After you get some basic comfort in DP, you should check out an other very undervalued resource which very few people know of but which is the best resource on DP for more intermediate and advanced level programmers. And that is the USACO guide. The USACO guide is the best resource for most competitive programming topics. And you can check out the gold category for intermediate level DP content because USACO guide basically gives you links to lots of DP resources. And in addition to that, they have their own DP explanations. After you do some intermediate problem solving from USACO guide, you should check out the platinum and advanced stages of the same guide for even more advanced DP. For example, you can check out the advanced category for DP optimizations, such as the convex hull trick, nuts optimization, divide and conquer optimization, and Lagrangian relaxation or the alien trick. So they offer tutorials on each of these topics in addition to problems on each of these topics. 
and these problems are more useful for those preparing for IOI because they are of a slightly harder difficulty level but nonetheless they will help you even if you are preparing for other programming contests. Lastly, I would like to end this video with the final tips on dynamic programming. So the best and only way for anyone to get better at dynamic programming is through problems. You need to solve tons and tons of problems before you get really comfortable with DP. And even after that, you need to keep solving problems to make sure that you have enough practice because anyone, including me, can find DP extremely challenging if you're not in touch with it. And secondly, for a more specific routine for improving DP, you should solve around two DP problems or tutorials every day of gradually increasing difficulty level. So that should take around one hour and that would be sufficient for improving DP at whatever level you are. So I hope this video helped you understand how you can improve your dynamic programming skills at whatever level you are, regardless of whether you're a newbie, pupil, specialist, expert, master or grandmaster, or just somebody who's interested in competitive programming. If you had any doubts or any feedback or any suggestion, related to this video, do drop them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Thank you.